All right, now we're going to move a little bit further. We want to do that same version of O and the Saints, but let's get a little bit theoretical according to the Andy Key Music System. All right, volume one, you have to understand semitones, tone. What is a semitone? What is a tone? If you don't know that answer, you can actually go to the video number one on the, the beginner series of the videos in your member section. Okay? All right. What are scales? How do you form a scale? You have to be able to play all 12 scales. If you can't play it comfortably with ease, you need to finish volume one. If you don't have it, you need to get it. All right? Major chords. You should be able to form all your major chords. If you can't play all your major chords, then um, you might have some problems. All right? So you've got to finish by volume one. All right? It's all in, in that package. And you have to have an entry level of playing by ear. So you should be able to pick up some songs, some simple melodies, and you should be able to play them by ear. Okay? Next level is volume two. In volume two, you've got to be able to play in all keys. That's a must to understand in the language of music, all right? I'll give you a quick overview, all right? In the key of C, all right? Let's say if you're in the key of C, what is the five? If you can't answer within five seconds, you're looking at it too hard, okay? What is the three in the key of C? What is the seven? Okay, let's jump to the key of F. What is the four? What is the seven? What is the six? Once again, if you can't answer within the five seconds, you need to complete volume number two. All right, let's go to the key of, uh, let's say, uh, E flat. Okay, E flat. What is the four? What is the two? What is the six? Okay, let's jump to the key of A. What is the three? What is the five? What is the seven? Okay, if you can't answer those, you need to complete volume two. But let me just give you a quick overview. All right, volume two, you've got to be able to play in every key, as I said before. All right, so how are we going to do that? There's a term, this is something on volume two called the reference chord. All right, that's going to help you. Now, the numbers are simply your major scale. All right? So we know that in key of C, what are the notes for the major scale? You should know this already. It's C, D, E, F, G, A, B. Now, if you're, if you're only in the beginner class, I usually don't give this answer right. So you better make sure you finish volume one so you understand how we came up with this or guarantee you will be lost. Okay? So you've got to know what these numbers are in terms of Roman numerals. All right? What is the one, the two? All right? So based on the scale, that's how you're going to find the numbers. Now, it's obviously easier said than done to say, in saying, okay, just memorize the scales and count the numbers. That is true. But you've got to be able to see it a lot different. All right? So on volume two, there is a method that I have on there. I release a secret on how to look at music. And the exercises are, I, I'm telling you, they're just God-given. All right? The exercises are God-given to strengthen uh, how to play in every key. Now, if you don't believe uh, that uh, it'll help you, I'm going to actually post some videos of some other students that have done volume two and now able to play in every key. So you can see it's not just me. I'm not just showing you something. I'm going to teach you how to understand it. That's why I don't want to just put the answer here because when you find the answer for yourself and be able to actually create it, you'll see the big difference. All right. So volume two, got to be able to play in every key. That's a must. All right. Next, we need to look at Volume 3, which is understanding why we change chords, alright? Why do we change a chord? Do you know? Like, for example, when I played uh, Owen the Saints just a while ago, why did I change? Do you know? Alright, so what I need you to do is watch me as I go to the piano right now, and I'm actually going to give you a quick demonstration on why we change, alright? And now it's a term in Volume 3, it's called... Indicator notes. All right. If you master indicator notes, they're going to tell you why and when to change. All right. So I'm going to demonstrate this for you.